Yeah, um, I think, you know, we just knew that really wasn't us um, against Boston. Um, they're a good team, but, you know, I don't think they better than us or even that many points better than us. Um, so, you know, we practiced and we went hard and figured things out and was ready to go tonight. Just knowing these last 10, the way the race is, definitely trying to avoid the play in. So. I mean, you just play with more effort. I mean, um, you are who you are at this point of the season. Um, and you know why you win and you know why you lose. Um, so at this point, it's really we know why we lose at times is effort. I think the effort wasn't there in Cleveland or in Boston. And you've seen a result. We played with some effort, came out early, got a lot of steals and deflections and was active. And we really tough to defend when the ball pop and everybody having fun. Why do you Eighty-two games, brother. Every, I mean, if we want to, I mean, we don't go into games, you know, want to lose or nothing like that. But it's the human nature. Um, shit is a long season, man. Um, some nights you just won't have it, and um, you try to avoid them nights as possible. But at the end of the day, you know, it's the NBA, and guys are talented and skilled. So. Yeah. energy. I mean, I mean it's, it's night and day. I mean, we flying around, playing for each other, not just running, you know, pick and roll or just running, um, just just being easy to guard. When the ball popping, we move and getting out in transition. It sparks everybody to turn their defense up a notch, you know. We was able to do that and uh, happy we got the dub. I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, I, like, you don't ever want to see guys, you know, go down. Uh, I can't wait till we get guys back. Um, I'm just doing what I can, playing my role, you know, on this team. And, um, you know, late game, I had to, you know, I've been watching a lot of film of Jokic and Jamal, just how they run two-man game. Um, and just is trying to take, you know, some pressure off Nikola, man. He's and also just trying to show him, you know, he can have confidence in me to make those plays and make those big shots. So I definitely look forward to it. And, you know, I've always been a big time player, um, even like in college, just like big moments, you know, I, I kind of always embrace them. Um, so just getting a chance to display it at this level, you know, is way different from college. So it's definitely, you know, a good, a good start for me. I mean, I do it, I do it on my own. Um, yeah, me, me and Ma have watched film before, but um, I take it upon myself just to see them, you know, the backdoor cuts I get, Jamal is good at them, just setting them early screens for Jokic and rolling behind it, collapsing the defense and just playing the two-man game and not just being predictable. I think um, me and Jokic, um, chemistry has definitely grown in that, in that suit. Yeah, late games, how he gets the four flat. Um, and just work the two-man game. Um, you know, it's some, some really hard to guard. You know, especially when you're a threat on the on the ball as a point guard, and also you got the best player in the league setting the screen and rolling. He causes so much attention. So it's really just you got to pick your poison. You defensive coordinator for the Warriors. Of course, you got to have all of those. Five mm -hmm. defensive coordinators there in the fold when you were like twelve, nine years old. Like why? Nah, I mean, I've went into this season. Um, after the playoffs um, and coming into training camp, I always had the mindset to be a starting point guard while, you know, Jamal was up. So I've, I've seen, like, my vision for this season was always to, you know, finish games and just play at a high level and help my team on either end. So I'm not surprised at all, um, honestly. So the thing, the thing with you is that nobody knew who Jamal was going to come yeah. out of the match, right? So, like, it's going to kind of keep you going. Yeah, I mean – like I said, I'm. I've been. A, I was, you know, a good player off the bench um, many years here, um, and now you get opportunity like this, you can't, you know, let the opportunity slip. You know what I'm saying? So, um, whenever he come back, um, he's been looking 
magnificent in his workouts. Um, whatever role I play, I'll play it to, you know, my best of my ability like I've been doing. So I'm not really worried, or, you know, about that. I'm just focusing on it day at a time, day in, day out. Can you give me an idea of what you expect from Nah. Okay. Nah. I mean, I'm not sure on that. I don't know timetable, but, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely, I mean, you just feel the energy, especially you go to L.A. Um, they got some feisty fans out there, you know, that make the game rugged. And, you know, also here, um, just having that feel, playoff series, just knowing we came back 3-1, they always got that in the back of their mind. Um, it just feel good to go out there. And um, it's easy for me to get up for those guys because they're a hell of a team. Um, and you know you got to be on your A game, um, you know, or they, or they could blow you out. So um, it's always fun playing against those guys. Yeah. Shit, they better step up. <laughs> yeah, that's what we say all the time. You know, that's three. That's easy. We, I see him make those all the time. You know, he walking. I told him I was happy today. I was on the bike after he hit the three, and, and he did this. I was doing that too with him. But it's fun, man. That kid play with so. So much energy, man, and I mean, that one shot he hit at the end of the half where he was smiling and running back, like, he just loved the game, so it, it's fun to watch, man. But, yeah, we just tell him they better step up because that's cash. So I see him work on that shit every single day, that shot. So, um, you know, it's fun to see. He's coming into his own for sure. It's not like you guys are that old, but this is so young. Yeah, I mean. I mean, he he's more mature, you know. Than you think um, for him to be a rookie, um, and he listens. I mean, that was one thing I picked up on. You know, me, me, uh, kind of in that role where when it was here, when it was like my first year actually playing, it would always give me pointers and bring me to the side and things like that. So I'm like, man, it's crazy how the the world works and the league works. You know, so um, you know, I wouldn't be doing my job if I wasn't in his ear all the time, every possession, whether it's good, you know, or bad, and he hit a patch of adversity. Um, I'm still on him. We text all the time and just, you know, let him, I'm letting him know, like, yo, you, you playing really, really good basketball right now and what to expect, you know. So that's just me being, you know, a big brother and just, you know, the future bright for that kid. And I want to see him reach his, you know, his highest, his highest pinnacle. Yeah, appreciate it.